Continuing coverage tonight with tomorrow's scheduled execution of convicted murderer Freddie Owens. Owens got the death penalty for shooting and killing a Greenville convenience store clerk some 27 years ago. Tonight, the state Supreme Court rejecting his bid to stop the execution. Now he's turning his attention to the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. Chris English joins us in studio now with a closer look at the case. JR, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, the state of South Carolina is scheduled to perform its first death penalty execution in 13 years. 46-year-old Freddie Owens was sentenced to death for the 1997 killing of convenience store clerk Irene Graves. He'll be executed by lethal injection. But it was controversy over lethal injection and the drugs used that led to the pause in executions after Jeffrey Motts was put to death in 2011. Like all drugs, those used for lethal injection have a shelf life. After the Mott's execution, South Carolina's supply of the drugs had expired. To complicate matters further, suppliers of the drugs refused to sell them to various states, including South Carolina, for fear that their companies would be sued. This led to a years-long pause in executions as the state grappled with how the death penalty would be carried out. Negotiations with lawmakers ultimately saw death by firing squad added to the list of options the condemned could choose from. The state eventually passed a shield law that hides the identities of drug companies and the personnel involved in executions from the public. If all of Owen's appeals are denied in the courts, then his last chance to avoid the death penalty would rest on the shoulders of Governor Henry McMaster, who could grant Owen's clemency. The governor says that he will wait until the call comes from the death chamber Friday before announcing his decision. I get, try to get all the facts that are available, and then when the time comes to announce that the decision, which will be uh, on that date, then I'll do it. While the governor, a former prosecutor, won't say what his decision will be, he did say, quote, when the rule of law has been followed, there really is only one answer. Death penalty opponents have called on the governor to commute Owen's sentence to life in prison. Jace Woodrum, executive director of the South Carolina ACLU, says his group opposes the death penalty no matter the method of execution and points to the costs of those cases. The death penalty, death penalty cases cost almost 10 times more than non-death penalty cases. The state is paying more. It's a bad and wasteful use of our resources. Reverend Hillary Taylor with South Carolinians Against the Death Penalty says the death penalty provides punishment but not accountability to the victims. All victims of violence deserve to be heard. They deserve to have their pain taken seriously and they deserve to know that what happened to them will never happen to them again. And the death penalty cannot guarantee those things. On the eve of Owen's execution, the daughter of his victim is speaking out. Ensley Graves Lee was 10 years old when her mother was killed. She says this moment has been a long time coming for her and her family. I don't know if it's closure, but we would like to bring a close to a chapter that has been held open for the last 27 years. Graves says the entire ordeal, especially this week, has taken a heavy toll. I guess after this, I, you know, I'm hoping to just kind of breathe a little bit. And again, Freddie Owens is scheduled to be executed tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. In studio, Chris English, News 19, WLTX.